Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. Here we're going to continue learning about multiplying by reciprocals. The problems here are going to be a little bit more challenging, but not really hard. What if you have uh, 1 half, which, by the way, it can be thought of as the reciprocal of the number 2, that's why we're kind of doing this, times negative 16a plus 20. How would we simplify that? Well, we have a number. It's just a, a fraction, which we, another word for that is a reciprocal. Um, on the outsides, so we can distribute that into that term and then also separately to that term. So here we have uh, this. What is 1 half times negative 16a? Well, it is a positive times a negative, so we now know, since we've done that kind of work, that that's going to give us a negative answer. And then the 1 half times the 16 can be written as 16 over 2 times a. The reason it's written that way is because 16 is really 16 over 1. Multiply the top numbers, you get that. Multiply 1 times 2, and you get that. The negative sign comes because of negative times positive. The a just comes along for the ride. Now, we have to distribute 1 half times 20, which can be written as 20 over 2. It's the same story. 20 times 1 gives you this, and then on the bottom, the implied 1 times the 2 gives you this. So now we have to try to simplify that. The first fraction is 16 divided by 2, which can be written as negative 8 a, the negative just comes along for the ride. 20 divided by 2 is just going to be 10. So the final answer is negative 8a plus 10. So you see, not that difficult, but we have to keep track of different things along the way. So we have to be careful. 1 third times 18b minus 39. Again, we have this reciprocal out here, which is the reciprocal of the number 3. So we're just going to treat it like a fraction, which is what it is. Multiply it in to here. And what we'll get is 